gather through interviews, newspapers, letters, and from Harvey's writing. Stories about love, disco nights, and drag queens. A lavender pen. Wingtip shoes. Bus stops and bullhorns. Open, open windows. windows. A thousand, a thousand, thousand candles. candles. This, this is a story, story about, about, love. about love. This is a story about Harvey Milk. I came out. I came out. I came out. I came out at, at 14. fourteen. I came out at fourteen. Even though I lived at home for several more years, it has never been home again for me. For in that home, I was closeted. In fact, I never had a home again. A home is a place to be oneself, to express the greatest gift that anyone has. The gift of loving another person. I lived like all gays. Inside our place to live, I was gay. Once outside, I suppressed myself. I had no home, and especially no hometown. Then came Castro, Castro Street. Street. Castro Street became my hometown. For the first time in my life, there was a place to live. To shop. To play. To be. That I felt was home. It has become a symbol to many gay people. A, a symbol, symbol of, of being. being. You can go home again. If the government is ever going to be returned to the people, it will only be returned when the people demand it. When the people throw off the political machines, the public relations speeches, and the crumbs thrown to keep you quiet. Vote! It takes time to register to vote. It takes time to stand in line to vote. The time may only be a few minutes or it may take an hour. Think of how much time each year thousands spend in jail for having sex with consenting adults for smoking grass, for obstructing sidewalks. If you don't register, you can't vote. If you don't vote, a friend of yours may get caught and just go to jail. It'll be too late to complain then. Register, register to, vote. to vote. We don't have to wait for budgets to be passed, for surveys to be made, or for political wheeling and dealing. It takes no compromising to give people their rights. It takes no money to respect the individual, and it takes no political deal to give people their freedom. It takes no survey to remove repression. Freedom, freedom now. now! And in 1978, it is perfectly acceptable for the courts to take a child from her gay parent and place that child in a foster home because people won't believe that a gay parent can love and take care of a child as well as any non-gay parent. Love, love is love. love. One would like to think that most Americans are opposed to discrimination, but history tells us that is not so. For over 100 years, we were content to treat blacks as property. For over 100 years, we were content to deprive women of the simple right to vote. And of course, for well over 200 years, this country has been content to treat homosexuals as something less than human. Become, Become a human, human being. being. The concept of gay rights frightens people, and maybe it should. Not because it threatens their children, it does not. The concept of gay rights frightens people because it shatters the myths that have been perpetrated by society ever since the days homosexuals were set afire at the stakes in Salem with bundles of sticks called faggots. My name is Harvey, Harvey Milk. Milk. The following is a letter from Thomas Hodges to Harvey Milk. Thomas was an original cast member from the 2009 debut of Dear Harvey at Diversionary Theater. Thomas became an activist through his work on the show and he shares some thoughts with Harvey about today. Dear Harvey, I don't feel like an activist that can change the world, but a little at a time, I'm finding I can open people's eyes the same way mine were open. I think there is a lot you would like about today's world. May 22nd is officially Harvey Milk Day in California. So now schools can teach about gay history. Oh, and marriage got legalized. There was even an openly gay man running for president. Thank you, Harvey, for being out. Thank you for caring and risking and loving. Thank you for allowing me to feel as though society owes me my equal rights. I wish I could tell you that the fight is over. I can't. Some things haven't changed, but we have changed. We know the power of hope. You taught us that. We know that authenticity is beautiful and we know that we never have to hide again. Love, Love Thomas. Thomas. Gather through interviews, newspapers, letters, and from Harvey's writing. Stories about love. Disco nights and drag queens. A lavender pen. 
wingtip shoes, bus stops and bullhorns, open windows, a thousand, a thousand candles. candles. This, this is a story, story about, about love. love. This is a story about Harvey Milk.